Hi students, this is Farna. Today I am going to discuss you about SSC CGL. In SSC CGL, there are four important topics like aptitude, reasoning, English, and general awareness. What are they? general awareness and English. What are they? Aptitude, reasoning, general awareness and English. In general awareness, today I am going to discuss about general awareness topics. My topic is general awareness in that I am going to discuss about some topics which are the syllabus given by the SSC that are History, Polity, Economy and Geography and Current Affairs. What are they? In general awareness there are some topics like history, polity, economy, geography and current affairs. In today I am discussing about history. History is my topic and today I am going to assess, see with as uh, deal with uh, history in that in history scholars have divided history into three important periods like ancient, medieval and modern. Three important periods are ancient, medieval and modern. In ancient, there are some important topics like industrial civilization, Jainism, Buddhism, Gupta, post Gupta, Maurya and post Maurya. I will write here. Vedic Buddhism and Jainism, Gupta, post Gupta, Maurya and post Maurya. These are the basic topics of history and ancient. What are they? Industrial civilization, Vedic, Gupta, post Gupta, Maurya, post Maurya, and Buddhism, Jainism. How they came? How, what are the kingdoms in Maurya and Gupta period? Who are the kings? And the, what are their sculptures? What are they have written in the sculptures? And what are their places? And which places they were extended? And which uh, areas they were occupied? That we will see in Gupta and post Gupta period. After that, today we will discuss about Indus Valley Civilization. It is also called as IBC, Indus Valley Civilization. What are they? Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization, if you get a question with the name of Indus Valley Civilization, you can easily keep the option. But if they call Indus Valley Civilization with other names, what, what can you do? So, in names of the Indus Valley Civilization we will see now. What are the names? There are four important names for the Indus Valley Civilization like Saraswati Civilization, Sindh Civilization, Bronze Age and Harappan Civilization are the names of Indus Valley Civilization. I will write here.
what are the names there are bronze civilization saraswati civilization and sindh and also harappan civilization why they got this name these names for indus valley civilization they ca, they just call as they, they can call as indus valley civilization why they gave so many names because different scholars fee, feel that these names are worth for indus valley civilization like bronze age why would they call it as a bronze age because bronze was very extremely used in indus valley civilization they don't know about metals like iron uh, on their days so they they used most of the bronze in that area so it called as bronze age how you can say that they got only bronze by the way they got so many uh, seals and also like uh, uh, figures of dancing girl and also beard man and goddesses were were made up of bronze god in indus valley civilization and mainly from mohenjodaro and harappa and saraswati civilization why they call it as saraswati civilization because 80% of the people were live beside the river saraswati so they name it as an saraswati civilization why they call it as an harappan or sin civilization because harappa is the first site got in the archaeologist evidence when they excavated they, they got harappa in is the first site got by uh, archaeologists so they name it as an harappan civilization so different scholars give different different names for the indus valley civilization so remember that and the period like if you see every person has some certain age every every item has some certain age so for for example fruits and vegetable will be for one day or two days and if you take cats and animals it will be for 12 years or 11 years in the same way a human being having the period of like uh, 60 years to 70 years or 90 years also but if you take the civilization of indus which period it was how we can say the age or the period of the indus valley civilization is of 2900 to 2900 bc sometimes ssc may concentrate on this also please i am making a point here please note that Two thousand nine hundred BC to two thousand BC. How how can you say that it is of two thousand nine hundred to two thousand BC by making a scientific experiment that name is carbon footing dating. Okay, the by this experiment, scientist has said that Indus Valley civilization belongs to this period, and after that. you may see after the period we will see about the extinction of indus valley civilization from one place to another place places the indus valley civilization start in the sindh the place name called sindh this is the middle part of indus valley civilization sindh in pakistan sorry in punjab the middle part and it extended to north to south and east to west in north south east and west what are the places in north the places are jammu and kashmir the place called manda and in east it extended to uttar pradesh
name called Alamgirpur. And in south, it was extended till Maharashtra. Before it was Gujarat, and now it you can find in Maharashtra of some places. In Dolvir, and in west you can see. Iran or Sutka Jindaro here you can find four bronze figures in Paravara, Paravara, Paravara river Paravara four bronze figures So, see once again, the middle point of the Indus Valley civilization is the Sindh in Punjab and from east to west, they are from Iraq to Uttar Pradesh and north to south, Jammu Kashmir to Maharashtra. And to remember its short format, I will say small example dams. Dams, it means Dalvir and Alamgirpur and Manda and Sutka Jendaro or the, these names are called as dams. If you remember dams that is enough you can make an option and you can place where are the places extended from uh, Indus Valley civilization from center point to other places. Okay, This is all around 13 lakh square kilometers. Remember 13 lakh square kilometers. First archaeologist evidence of Harappan civilization got in 1921 until today it was extended to Solong and Solong area from east to west and north to south. So many places they were extended and it is all around 13 lakh square meters. Okay? You see important cities. Important cities in Indus Valley civilization are Harappa, Mohanjadaro, Lothal, Banwali, Dolvir, Sutka Jindaro, and some other places. So, in that important places, Harappa and Mohanjadaro are the capital cities which we have today, like Delhi, and port cities also like Vishakapatnam, they had Lothal in Gujarat areas, and also. Banwali are the other, other port cities and Lothal is the port city which was the first world tidal port. <coughs> Excuse me. Capital in important cities we have seen capital cities like Harappa and Mohanjadaro and port cities. Dolvir and sorry like Lothal and Banwali are the port cities and the first tidal port in the world was Lothal and later after what are the evidence of when the excavation was going on the archaeologist evidence have got some evidence what are the evidence and which place they were gotten we will see. We are done with important cities, capital cities and also port cities. Now we are going with, what is that? Now we are doing with important cities and their archaeologist evidence.
what are the archaeologist evidence in which places and where, what are the importance of that you may think what is the important with uh, archaeologist evidence like seals or pottery and what are the dice and goddesses why we should remember all this if you see why you should remember this is a question if you raise you may have a great knowledge and for, for so long extent so i will clarify your doubt in harappan we got dice mirror mother goddesses mirror i have written and also seals pottery these are the important granary these are the important evidence got in the harappan civilization that are mirror dice scales and also scales wheat and barley these are the evidence got in the harappa what are the dice mirror scales and wheat barley and of the agriculture products and also pottery also very famous in indus valley civilization and the mother goddesses and seals these are the important archaeological evidence of god in the harappa so why we should remember all these themes because it says that it each has their lifestyle of the indus valley people in the in what way their lifestyle how they so the dice teach that they have entertainment programs like dice playing dice and that and mirror mirror and mother goddesses show that some archaeologists some are saying that they are not a patriarchal they are a matriarchal society that mother is the uh, head for the society head for the home and also seals pottery seals seals are the very important in indus valley civilization and the pottery also like granary granary teaches that there is a central civilization in every village uh, and they are uh, aware of floods and droughts if the, any droughts or floods are occurred they can store this rice or wheat or barley in some place some area and they can uh, they can uh, they want to give that people when they were in emergency cases wheat and barley and today we have two or three types of wheat and barley barley but in that era they have 60 varieties of barley okay and we will see with mohan jodaro so i better i'll write that side in mohanjo daro we got great bath great great bath great granary and all right here and wheat and barley are common mother goddess the important evidences in mohanjodaro it each has very good life they had and uh, they that they had bronze image of women dancing beard man clay figures also got in the mohanjodaro it each has their lifestyle was centralized way so here we can see assembly hall also
what it uh, what is the assembly hall teaches is like we have parliament today they uh, they had assembly hall in that days and it mohanjodaro i said it is a capital like a capital city so they had the assembly hall and it is on centralized so everyone should obey the words of the centralized power so they have uh, assembly hall and a great bath that means they have uh, they used to uh, go to uh, this place and they used to have scare uh, festivals and great granary also what the great granary shows us i said before it was granary is there in harappa like great granary it was centralized so the great granary is in the, that place it store so much so many so much amount of wheat and barley rice they have i said they have so much varieties and mother of goddesses i teach about and chaundara in chandara there are no citadels citadels means upper layer and the down layer it it shows that there is a caste based or the class based division in between the civil in the civilized people that shows and it is 150 kilometers from mohanjodaro and the and see uh, harappa is uh, harappa is 500 kilometers from mohanjodaro and here it is only 150 kilometers still there is no citadels in that area why citadels are important because citadels, citadels show us caste or class based if you see in mohanjodaro it is a capital city still it is having citadels and the great bath i said great bath is also extends on the citadel like upper part in the western a citadel will be placed in the west side so there is a citadel and the construction of the great bath is on citadel also so some like ink, ink pots lipsticks other products were brought got in that places and kalibangan was kalibangan have seven fire altars camel bones was got seven fire altars show that they used to sacrifice for the god like uh, by, by making a fire altars and also banwali lack of drainage system there is good drainage system in indus valley civilization like uh, they have separate wells for every home and their homes will be faced in the east side the entry will be from the east side and every place they will have two uh, two entry sides like to enter this uh, to enter the line they have some uh, some entry gate and also for every home they have entry gates but in lothal if you see that is different in lothal you can see one one entry gate that says it may be an market place and also like sutka jandaro horse bones was fame uh, sutkadado they got horse bones were got in that place that is only evidence that horse bones horse were uh, known to the indus valley people but it was you remember that horse was a good friend to the aryans some scholars say that when aryans came that uh, they smashed the indus valley civilization they entered into the india uh, so they say that horse uh, horse was a uh, horse evidence which got in sutkadado it says that it was aryans entry from the central asia and lothal i said about lothal dolvir and in dolvir you should remember that dolvir which was in uh, east in maharashtra that was in south area there it is it has three citadels okay this is all about indus valley civilization and here we will see important crops and into important animals and metals in indus valley civilization crops what are the crops what are the animals and the metals <coughs> crops
crops animals and metals are important why crops are uh, important why i am saying that because agri agriculture is the main pro main thing for a primary sector for every industry like in india or other places food is a uh, important for every person so crops are important like rice wheat barley uh, are the very important products in uh, crop pattern of industrial civilization and cotton was first known by indus people all over the world cotton was known by the indus people it showed that it was uh, exports or imports done from uh, like sorry exports done from uh, lothal and uh, for uh, for uh, contemporary civilizations like egypt mesopotamia china that places so cotton is very famous in indus valley civilization and it was exported to other countries other civilizations how you can say that these were exports are done by we got in mohanjodara we got two seals of mesopotamia so that make us we had a trade relation with that contemporary civilizations and animals they they know about the cat dog lions no lions are there not lions were presented in indus valley civilization remember they may concentrate on this also lions lions evidence was not got till today it may be in future we don't know that so elephant dog rhinoceros are important uh, animals were got in the indus valley civilization that you can find in the seals so uh, seals are important for the evidence of these bones and uh, elephant uh, cavel uh, ivory was also important so it shows that they have awareness about the crop pattern and animals they also have the, that is the best civilization with comparing to india every in every place they have good sanitary drainage system and wells and drinking water was good and they have separate kitchen and from that they have underlying drainage system also it shows that they what are the maturity levels of the indian indus people and how good they were in like um, astrology or how they good in uh, this uh, construction field so metals metals are also known by indus valley people like bronze i said bronze was very famous in indus valley civilization with bronze they got uh, tin lead gold silver also known by the indus valley uh, indus valley people some type of beads also got in indus valley so that beads they used to wear in the on the neck and uh, by the uh, by mixing of gold and uh, some other uh, metals so metals also known by that so metals most of the metals got from afghanistan gold silver were got in afghanistan and south india so iron was not uh, they never know about the iron so bronze was very extremely used i said before also seals and uh, seals are very important remember seals are very extremely in indus valley civilization with that we know that they had some separate language for the indus valley people that was on the seals but till today it was not deciphered if that was is the on the language was deciphered it shows that their knowledge on the different we can study their knowledge so there is also contemporary civilization china which which we have like other country today they have contem they on that day they have contemporary civilizations like mesopotamia or china and egyptian that remember every place located nearby the river so my so many scientists have said that every uh, the places the cities extend near to the river river itself because to irrigation facilities good irrigation facility they have place their cities near to the rivers so now we will go with vedic period so vedic is very important it changed our lifestyle of lifestyle of today's hinduism or buddhism uh, came into the picture by the vedic period vedic what is vedic you may uh, question yourself what is vedic it is not about the literacy or it is not about the 
linguistic group it is about the knowledge knowledge of the people how they wrote the, how the rishis or saints wrote the books of vedas and not they, they don't know about paper but how they written the vedas and today what we are studying vedas or sacrifice for the god and fire altars or uh, different vedas like rig veda samaveda yajur veda we are very aware of gayatri mantra and mundaka upanishad which was a mo indian motto that all that all came from the vedic itself how the people have a good knowledge about vedas and astrology or jyotishyam like yoga this is all from the vedic period itself which are na natural medicine that is came from the vedic itself so i said veda is not about the literature or linguistic it is about the knowledge of the people some scholars say that vedas vedas teach us very good knowledge and we should uh, proud to be see the uh, such a vedas in india and some scholars say they are of uh, indo european languages how with which evidence they are saying it an indo european languages we will see so sorry 